Hi, my name is Tracy and I'm with Bravados and this is my uh, friend Sandy. And we're going to show you um, how to put a wig cap on and how to tuck up all your hair, pin it up, and then put the wig on top of that. So uh, you're going to want a, either a mesh wig cap or a nylon wig cap like this. If it's a brand new one, <clears throat> I like to kind of stretch them out a little bit before I put it on. So we'll stretch it out a little. Uh, we're going to take these snap clips, they're like little barrettes and we're going to pin her hair up because her hair is actually longer than the wig that we're trying on. So I'm going to take her hair and I'm going to separate it in the back and I'm just going to uh, crisscross the hair and then I'm going to pin it. Now you can use bobby pins. Um, I prefer these because I think that they hold the fine hair really well and they're not going to fall out of the hair like a bobby pin can. And they won't poke through your wig either so bobby pins are great for thicker hair. These work really well. So you just kind of pin it all up out of the way. And then you're going to put the wig cap over that. So we're going to stretch it. Tuck it all up. And if the, you know, if the wig is really close to the color of your hair, don't worry about every little hair um, underneath. You can just blend them in. So this wig is called High Society. And it's an Ava Gabor wig in color GL1416. It's a highlighted color. We've pre-cut bangs for Sandy because she likes bangs. It's a nice bob that's got a lot of body at the bottom. Really cute. So Sandy can have long hair, short hair, whatever kind of hair she wants. 